Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for giving me this day. Like the psalmist says, this is the day that the Lord has made, and I will rejoice and be glad in it. I place today in your hands, Father. I will rejoice and I will be glad today, because your grace and your peace and the blessings of protection that you offer are with me always. Father, I claim your word that says, surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. I plead the blood of Jesus over my life today, over my spirit, my soul and my body. I plead the blood of Jesus over everything in my life. I submit all that may trouble me into your hands. I place my fears, anxiety and worries into your hands. This is another day, O Lord, and I don't know what it will bring. I don't know what today holds, but I am confident that you are a faithful God who will see me through. You will direct my steps this day into the way of peace and strength and my heart will obey your commands. Steady my emotions, Father. Stay beside me through this day. Keep watch over me. Send your angels to have charge over me. Jesus, you are my Redeemer. You are the Good Shepherd, the Shepherd that makes me to lie down in green pastures, the Shepherd that leads me beside the still waters. Strengthen my faith and help me to face this day with you. Help me to stand up bravely in faith. Father, let me be of clear mind today. Give me clarity in my mind so that I may make good decisions today. Help me not to be confused in any area, for your word says that you are not the author of confusion. Fight for me today, Lord. Protect me from any storms that can bring fear, any challenges that may cloud my judgment or try and create confusion. That is not my portion, Lord. Help me, Lord, to have the mind of Christ. You have not given me a spirit of fear or of confusion, but you have given me a spirit of power, love and a sound mind. I choose this day to set my mind and my heart on your word. I ask that you would help me to meditate on your word day and night, and I thank you that you are a God who is true to his word. Father, help me to let go of yesterday. Help me to forgive and to begin again. Help me to trust your plan today. God, help me to see new beginnings. Help me to heal from the pain of yesterday. Help me to start over because I know that you have better plans for me, Lord. I exalt your name, King Jesus. You are the chief cornerstone of my life. I pray that you show me the way in which I should go today. Your word says the steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. I thank you, Lord, for victory over sin and death. Order my steps today, Father. May the blood of Jesus protect me. I will not be afraid of anything that comes my way, because everything is in your hands. I invite you to walk with me, Lord. May the Holy Spirit guide me, lead me and speak to me. I set my eyes and my affections on heaven. I look to you, Lord, the author and finisher of my faith. Your word says that you will keep me in perfect peace when my mind stays on you. And I come to you today. I ask that you renew my mind as I meditate on your word. I ask that you would bring peace into my heart and into my mind and silence every confusing voice from the enemy. Let nothing affect me or my family, because the blood of Jesus Christ will form a protective barrier. Nothing from the enemy, no weapon formed by the enemy shall prosper against me. I let go of anything that cannot remain under the blood of Jesus. Any old habits, any sinful habits, any impure thoughts, any negative people, I choose to remain covered by the blood of Jesus Christ and I claim the protection, the provision and direction that comes from being covered by the blood of Jesus. I come before you today knowing that all power is in your hands. I know and I have confidence that you are a God that cares for your people and I place my trust in you. I place every situation that I face today into your care. 
My life is in your hands. I surrender every relationship, every thought. I surrender every concern and worry that I have to you. Father, take every doubt, every fear, every depressing emotion. Take everything, Lord. And I ask that you release your grace and mercy. I ask that you release your power from heaven to lead me and guide me. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. Give me spiritual eyes to see, Lord, and ears to hear, so that I may not fall for the attacks of the enemy. I lay my life down at your feet, and I bring all of my desires, all of my ambitions, and all of my dreams before you. Everything I long for, everything that I love and hold dear, I place it before you, Father, and I yield in submission. As I empty myself, I ask, Lord, that your Holy Spirit be so strong in my life. I ask that you fill me with the gifts and fruits of your Spirit. I welcome you, Holy Spirit. You are the source of love, hope, joy, peace, patience, goodness, self-control. And Lord, I pray that all of these gifts and fruits are evident in my life. Lord, I believe that there is nothing that can separate me from you today. Teach me how to choose only your way, so that each step that I take will lead me closer to you. Help me to walk in your word and not in my feelings or emotions. As the book of Psalms says in chapter 86, Listen to me, Lord, for I am helpless and weak. Save me from death because I am loyal to you. Save me for I am your servant and I trust in you. You are my God, so be merciful to me. There is no God like you. Not one has done what you have done. All the nations that you have created will come and bow down to you. They will praise your greatness. You are mighty and do wonderful things. You alone are God. Help me to keep my heart pure and undivided, focused on you, Father. Protect me from my own careless thoughts, words, desires, and deeds, Lord. Keep me from being distracted and discouraged by the enemy. But I pray, Father, that your Holy Spirit may fill me and guide me today. I thank you for hearing my prayer. I thank you for answering my prayer. I decree and declare that I have victory today in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.